Hi Virgo, this is your channel messages for the 9th of October. Virgo, I am your host Vanessa Carby, psychic medium, spiritual practitioner, and a tarot reader. I was hearing Virgo say what? Nay, nay, oh, say to me, and you mean to tell me you put me down for another? And what? Nay, nay. All right, so I was getting that, okay? Let's go ahead and go into your reading, Virgo. Let's go. Mm -hmm. We have Cuddle coming out first. Virgo, what's up? Are you feeling emotional? Okay, I'm getting you want to cuddle, Virgo. Okay, I, I see you. We have toxic relationship. Okay. So I'm getting you're currently in a toxic relationship. You're looking for someone who you can spend some time and cuddle. Apparently, your wife, your husband, your girlfriend or boyfriend is not being very sentimental with you and your bodily emotions. So I'm getting you're cheating. I'm getting you have a girlfriend or you're married or you cheat. No, if there's one thing I can respect from a man is when he tells me very honest with me about what the fuck he's doing. No, that don't mean because you're honest, me I'm gonna be on your side, sir. But I can honestly understand if your wife's a bitch, man, she's a motherfucking bitch. I don't know why the fuck your mom pressured you to marry her. Anyways, me getting toxic relationship and cuddle. So because your husband, your girlfriend, or your boyfriend, or your me getting somebody's toxic, them cuss every day, or them like to have sex after them angry sex. Somebody might be a masochist. I'm um, guessing you're seeking another person to cuddle with. No, I don't believe in breaking. I don't believe in when couple, when married couples have problems, then for cheat on each other. I don't believe in that. I believe if they have problems, when I have to work it out or when I have to divorce. But I mean, if your wife's a bitch, I mean, me not, got, me not know why you tied to sir. So me not going to try to pick up for any side of the argument. All I'm saying is, Virgo, you want somebody for cuddle. Because your, your, your relationship partner, um, they're not like that. It's weird, Virgo, because I feel like you really like nice, sweet, simple women. And I feel like you're the one girl who aggressive, she loud, and she even hit you. So maybe you're terrified of leaving her. You get another girl. My war or not, my wife, girl, and tell you movie. And you're afraid to leave your girlfriend? That is, that, is, that is the best grounds for me to come on and ride your dick. Riding your dick after knowing you had a toxic girlfriend. That is great for me. What's it against? Did I stalk out your blood clots? Come and cook and send her a video. Let's go ahead. We have to take a break. And there's nothing called breaks. It's either you broke up or you didn't. You cheated on me, yeah, but we were on a break. Sweetie, you were broken up. Break, break. Yeah, yeah, man, a break. I'm better you to give my blood clot pass. No phones allowed. Hidden prisons. And we got PhD. So let me ask a question from a psychological point of view. If you are not doing well, you know, like when you cry and it don't matter who's around you, they will hug you and give you comfort. Would you cuddle with a girl? You're not a guy around you. Would you cuddle with a girl? If a girl says, I'm going cuddle with you, I can't cuddle with you. You're not cuddle with a girl? Would you cuddle with another man? Were you in prison? Did you wear a big spoon, little spoon with a man? I'm getting something about intimacy. Not sex, but I'm getting very close proximity with a man. This could also, because I've noticed, and I'll talk, I notice how more loving and friendly vibes cartel have gotten and i'm going to say something i probably should have not said but one of one of one girl who used to be my friend in america her name start with one t she used to work at ashe she was my good friend and then she started hang out with some other girls the one of them starts ganging me to me um basically talk shit about me because apparently you know vanessa always want everybody knew what vanessa would have been in the future Everybody knew. Ask my primary school teacher. Ask anybody. Where do you think she'll be in the future? They're going to tell you on your TV screen. We don't know what she will be doing on your TV screen. But everybody didn't know my future already. And for friends who are jealous of you, who do want to integrate with you, um, they're going to try to go elsewhere, get another group of girls for the same thing you want to do. So she didn't join Ashe. Ashe is a big entertainment company in Jamaica. Now, I did audition for Ashe, but the reason why I never really join it or go on performances with them is because at the time, my, peer, my mother, not my parents, yeah, my parents, my father, they are fine, my mother did broke. 
I couldn't afford bus fare for go to rehearsals and go to practice. My friend could, I could not. So that's why I never joined Ashe. She joined Ashe, and there's a very specific instruction in Ashe called Conroy. I don't know if I'm by no Conroy. Let me look on your name. Good. So Conroy, I'm sorry, sir, but I'm not a blood clot girl who I don't like. That's why I'm not talking business, sir. So Conroy is an instructor when it comes on to Ashe. Now, if anybody never know what Conroy gay, I don't know who knows. Conroy, Conroy, Quiet Perry, yeah, I know what I'm gay, right? Cool. Now, I don't know if you notice when the great world boss decided to come on Rising Stars, they make him sit on right beside Conroy. A Conroy name and make sure that I'm name. It might not be him. Yeah, Conroy. Conroy B. Wilson. Where who where did where did Vice Cartel sit beside when he came on um Rising Stars to judge? He sit on beside Conroy. And again, I am not telling Uno man, I'm not tell Uno for this own the beliefs on have. But as I said in my terror readings, before Anisha Palmer came out of prison, because I had that to me, that is the biggest, that is one of the biggest highlights of my career. The fact that me did predict Anisha Palmer, Vibes Cartel coming out of prison. That's the biggest highlight for me, right? But okay, then make Vibes Cartel sit on my side, Conroy, the so called gay man. Why would Cartel do that? You think Cartel don't know him gay? I know him gay. But I'm getting because Cartel. That's how the deal. Remember, I talked about this in the reading months ago before Cartel was out of prison. I'm getting you have, to, you have to have amends with the gay community. You can't be so homophobic no more. And that's not to say you're gonna sell your soul because you want freedom. But what I was the, the energy I was reading in the reading was you have to show a little respect. And to me, that was very respectful. He came there and he sat down right beside Conroy. Conroy is a gay judge, if nobody ever didn't know this. So again, the hidden prison's PhD cuddle. Maybe because you're there in prison with be your man, you come out, you say, and everything gay. Just because I'm hug my brethren, that mean it gay. Now I won't lie, the way how Burner Boy hugged popcorn seemed a little gay. But uh, nevertheless, um, I see Anisha Palmer, a beer, hand, hand over neck. I'm very close, close with a the man them. You, you can't even get to take a selfie with Bounty Killer. Bounty Killer, can, can, can I have a picture please, yeah man? But what you do, my lord? What the bumbo clock you do, my lord? Yo, bro, God, you say I can get a picture. Yeah, man. I never tell you about no blood clot selfie. Man, man, I take blood clot selfie. Yo, turn, turn the camera back ways and take the blood clot picture, man. Yo, but bounty, if I turn the camera back ways and take the picture, I'm not going to see the picture. Yo, you know what? You're not getting no blood clot picture. Yo, run him away, right? <laughs> the fuck? Let's go ahead and go into your reading. So talk relationship, cuddle, take a break, no phones allowed, and hidden presence with a PhD, of course. Toxic relationship is the ace of swords. So what I'm saying, it's true. You agree. It is true. I know it's true. I don't go around telling lies. I hear that if I lie on my resume, then I can get a job. The problem is, what example? And I know that me making this sacrifice for myself is just for me. Maybe it's not that much of a big deal to the world, but the only thing we have in our lifetimes is our word. And how would I look lying on a resume, lying in front of a fucking um, recruiting agency, become a one one job, but me, me I tell the truth when me I read terror. That makes sense? So me I tell the truth when me I read terror, but become a one money and me can't get employment. So me I fill up my resume and be a blood clot, lie, and go into the interview room and lie. Because only can't make me sell my soul. Me never sell, me never lie since me I read blood clot terror. That is the oath I had to take. Me can't lie. That's why I'm homeless. That's why I only say, we need to train her to tell lie. You don't have to train me for tell lie. Just train me and tell me what you want and me can't give the outcome. But you don't, have to, you, don't have to, you don't have to give me a blood clot script for tell me, say, me need to breathe three seconds after me say this line. Just tell me what I'm going to do and me will make up the line and me will make up the breathing and me will do it, execute it when I need to. I'm getting, getting the truth about something. Or right, that's how you know your relationship toxic. I'm, and I'm going to tell you something. Um, if him won't cuddle you, if him don't cuddle you, that is, that is my first red flag. You know that? You fucking know that, Scarborough? That is the first red flag. If I land on with a man and him don't cuddle me, me no, nope, not for me. Even if he has a nice job, even if him nice, if him don't cuddle me, me don't. Mm. Because I can tell how you are, um, physically with people 
and I can tell that depending on how you would, how your, your mind will work when it comes down to caring about the same person in your space. If he doesn't cuddle, you shall never pass. You're not going to cuddle with me when I sleep. You're not going to hug me up no blood clot time. I don't want you, sir. I need something more, a little bit more than money. Cuddle is a nine of cups. Yeah, that's your wish. You want somebody who cuddle you every single day, who hold on by you. Me getting you want a clingy, clingy girlfriend or boyfriend or... And I love clingy men. Not obsessive, clingy. If you're clingy, it's okay. You, you, you're you going to work today and you have to um, drive and you have to drop off things at different places. I will be passenger princess for the next 12 hours. Yeah, my love, clingy. Take a break is a nine of wands. No phones allowed is a queen of pentacles. Hidden prisons is a chariot. Wow. And PhD is a ten. Wow. So we have king and queen of pentacles here. The king is PhD and the queen is no phones allowed. I'm getting something about a doctor who is studying a subject. The doctor is in love with the subject. I'm getting both on our earth signs. Or I'm getting the subject is exactly like you, doc. So I'm getting this woman not supposed to know that you're studying her, but I'm getting you're in love with her. Also, hidden prisons is also being clarified by the chariot, a police officer. So I don't know if I can't sound go prison or I'm getting something about this gay police officer. Yeah, police officer, you're the police officer in for work. Are you you're a security you're the security for the warden? Yeah, the seven of pentacles. Yeah, work. What the fuck is it? You're working with police? I'm getting something about your yeah, work with the police. Okay, so I'm getting all prisoners. When they come out of prison, I send a doctor. Even if they're not out and they're doing the time, I'm not have parole officers. I'm getting a doctor is communicating with a parole officer. So if you're honest with your doctor about what you take, what you're doing, your mental health, I'm getting it's being communicated back to your parole officer or this officer. I'm getting, once you're in a certain establishment and you see this doctor, the doctor share your information with the police. I'm getting something about a doctor working with a police officer and then I share information back and forth. Could be any type of doctor. Page of cups. Could be a psychologist. One more. Yeah, the death card. I'm getting a Scorpio. Me getting is either something but you're dead in a prison or me getting the doctor you're dead the doctor the doctor might pass or the doctor could fall ill now this could be either the doctor is studying this test subject but the police officer is in love with the test subject or me getting you, doctor you select your wife already yeah so they are me getting is an earth sign taurus virgo capricorn you're a capricorn you could be a Virgo too. Now Taurus, Capricorn and Virgo usually rule. So Taurus rule the calves, the foot. Capricorn rule the bones, spinal cord and teeth. Virgo rule, the, I think the abdominal digestive system. So some, I'm getting, if it's not a general practitioner, it's a chiropractitioner because Capricorn rules the bones and the teeth, bone, spinal cord, and teeth, PhD. So if it's not a medical doctor, it's a chiropractitioner who will deal with bone. If it's not a chiropractitioner, it's a psychiatry, psych psychologist, the page of cups, something about the deal with feelings. But me getting the doc, the patient, the doctor is seen, or the victim, the police is seen, me getting, she's going to be either the girlfriend or the wife of one of these people. So, yeah. You mean to tell me you put me down for another? Or me getting something about a police officer who want cuddle with you? Or a doctor who want cuddle with you? How do you even meet a police officer? How you meet them? You meet them in your local tiger or giant tiger? Or like, what the fuck? What do you do? How do you meet a police officer? How do you start a conversation? Hey, officer, so have any girls in doggy style while locking them up with the handcuffs lately? How the fuck do you start a conversation? I don't know. I'm going to leave it here. Until next time, bye.